Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Tchelet, Will it precede the Mashiach or follow the Mashiach? So we know that certain mitzvot were waiting for the Mashiach, or at least so it seems. Most people think that the Migdash will only be after the Mashiach, Korbanus will only be after the Mashiach. That's a debatable point. And uh, one must read the Rambam and all the various sources in the Rambam to try to get an understanding of that topic. But what about Tcheles? We don't usually assume Tcheles. That's also going to be from the Mashiach. Tcheles, we have a mitzvah, have Tcheles. And if we could get the Tcheles zone and the right one, then we should start already. So in previous year when we learned that according to Rav Sturbach and others, uh, quoting the Arizal, uh, quoting the Soloveitchik family, that uh, Rizal, you have to wait for the Mashiach, and then it will be revealed. Or the Soloveitchik family, according to some, maintain that you need to have a Masorah. We don't have the Masorah, therefore it's got to be renewed by the Mashiach. Until then, we have to just passively wait. And therefore, it turns out, not only do people think that Korbanos and Megdash will be after the Mashiach, Tchelis also. Others say just the opposite. We need to be involved in all the mitzvot that we possibly can, and maybe then we can merit the Mashiach. And I'm wondering that uh, if, if we have real contradictory points here. Some will say just passively wait for the Mashiach to come, and then Tchelis will come, Korbanos will come, and everything else will come. While others maintain that, well, what are we waiting around for? A, we should be involved in any mitzvah we possibly can. And if we can figure out how to get Tchelis, then that's what we should be doing. And it's not so clear to say we need a Shiach, and it's not so clear to say we need a Masora. Let's just take all the simanim, the signs that Chazal gave us, and see if we can match it up and have it correlate with the mollusk, whatever it may be that seems to fit, which snail or fish, whatever it is that may fit those signs, and move on with the Tchelet. So it turns to be an almost paradoxical argument here. The two approaches to Tchelet, <laughs> Really, one says, just wait it out, that's the big mitzvah. And the other one says, shame on you. By being involved in the mitzvah, maybe that extra mitzvah is going to bring the Mashiach that much closer. So we have very different, diverging opinions, not just a technical halachic point, and I think it may be a bit of a point here as well, about how proactive we should be in this mitzvah, and maybe that might affect... Uh, other mitzvahs as well, and how proactive with Kobanos, how proactive with building the Migdash. It's a different headspace, waiting for a new chapter to just happen or making it happen. Different approaches on different mitzvahs. Shalom.